Hello everyone, Sam is here <coughs> from myforestmagicweb.com. Um, still feeling the pain from the last uh, yesterday's accident. Anyway, um, yen pairs. Uh, I thought may they might gonna turn from that uh, those uh, areas, pound yen and euro yen, but uh, they decided to completely disrespect me, and <laughs> they just keep going up. Uh, so, as I said, that, you know, if they break uh, the areas that I mentioned and uh, keep going in the same direction, you know, we just go uh, behind them. But uh, when I mention these areas, they are mostly like possible turning points, and we just make sure that at those areas we just be careful, um, you know, opening a trade, uh, there may be a turn. If not, then just continue in, the, in that direction. Now, similar situation here we have uh, in uh, Euro USD four hour. This is um, a bad pattern that I uh, let me see if I have the chart. I opened it up. I don't know right here. I think this one. Uh, yeah. See, this is um, this is the chart that I made and um, I send out to everyone that we're gonna start uh, going long from here towards point D. Uh, to make a possible bad pattern, which is the, you know, the calculation for this is the first pullback B is 50% and then second uh, uh, pullback um, is D, but, you know, that the C point usually comes around 23.6%, which uh, this uh, level hold here, and, uh, you know, this bullish candle gave us a green light that we're going to start going up. We did, and here, uh, see, it, it breaks a level and then it comes back and tests it and then continues. So uh, this is the level here that we went up, we broke it, we went up, we came down testing, and from here uh, I, I was hoping that we will continue going up towards point D to finish this bad pattern around 37.70. So, so far, uh, it, it, this one at least, uh, you know, expecting my analysis. <laughs> So we went up here, we came down to this level here exactly, right? And then from here, we start going up. But at this point, uh, I remember uh, sending out a chart saying that we might uh, go down from this 61% level when I saw some uh, news and some, you know, downward movement. But then it came down here and then, you know, uh, uh, getting support around this area, 3546 number and then start going back on the same direction as, you know, to the upside to finish this bad pattern. And now we are very close. We are at 3740, and now this uh, number that uh, the bad pattern finishes at 3770. And this, if you draw this black uh, TL here and place it here, the channel, the channel is also coming around that area, 3770, 3780. So as long as we get there, uh, we're going to be watching to see if this area holds, okay? So if not, uh, if this area breaks, then definitely we will be going to this high, and then my big number, um, 38, 36, uh, um, 38, 31 is this high here, right? And then the big number coming in at 38, 36 on the upside, and then, you know, maybe so on and so forth. Uh, we got several upside numbers in the sheet. But this is the area to watch. Uh, if you're long, just be careful around 37.70, 37.80. Uh, see what happens. And then if we start flipping from there, the bad pattern will be finished here. So if we will have a reaction, then, we, you know, we're going to start going down. Then you see for short entries. If not, we will continue going long on this pair. Um, after NFP, uh, somehow uh, yen pairs and USD pairs both going uh, up. So uh, what's happening, um, I'm not fundamentalist, so <laughs> I don't know much about that, but they are going up. I was expecting that uh, euro, yen, and pound, yen, all those yen pairs will probably go down a little bit, but so far uh, they're not budging. So, uh, But this one, I uh, just wanted to, you know, uh, give uh, a little heads up uh, to see if uh, we get there, and then we might be, uh, tonight we might be going down. Okay, so let's watch it and use this, uh, the template that I sent out. Uh, watch, um, you know, for a reversal, and then you have to 
uh, see all those EMAs, uh, you know, get in line and take one by one, take out to the downside if you're going to make a turn. If not, then you will have a bounce from those, uh, one of those EMAs, uh, most likely 15 minutes, the blue line on that template. Even in, on a one hour chart, you can see there's a you know, thin blue line. That is the 15 minute 200 EMA. So if you see a bounce from there and then you next thing you see a, a long setup afterwards, after bouncing, then we go long, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you break this area. But if not, and if this area hold, you're going to start coming down and then you will see a uh, break of uh, these like 200 EMA, then 15 minute, and then you will see these EMAs will act as resistance and then start keep, you know, the price will start keep dropping after uh, finding these EMAs as resistance. So um, this is uh, the strategy, you know, we, we use. And um, just watch this number in this area, okay? And let me see if I can show you the weekly chart what's happening. Uh, this is what's happening. So if that area breaks, you know exactly where we go on this huge trend line. Maybe this is the target for big boys. Who knows? Uh, you see this here? Okay, and this 127 number of this drop here, that's coming here. So it could be if you see this one big drop, then you see A, B, and then C. I mean, sorry. Um, it's like... Um, a, B, C, and D is coming down around here and making another um, harmonic pattern on a monthly chart. So uh, if you if you see this uh, drop here, the 127 fifth level, you can see it's coming out what 3971, and we also have uh, 3968 as weekly low of May uh, 22, 2011. So that could be the number. But, uh, you know, we take it uh, one step at a time, and 3770 is the one to watch for now. And after that, uh, 38, 31, then 38, 36 is a big number. We break that, then we go to 3968, okay? So let's see what happens, all right? Um, yeah, yen pairs. I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, let's see what happens uh, if they are uh, keep going, and if not, then uh, where is the turning point? I will find out, and then uh, make a video and send out. Okay. So for now, uh, your USD is to watch for tonight. Let's see if we get there, um, 37.70, and you know we're gonna have to watch what happens there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. What did I do here?